A 7.9 magnitude earthquake struck Nepal on Saturday morning, killing over 1,800 people. The earthquake happened 81 kilometers northwest of the capital Kathmandu with tremors sent through North India, Mount Everest and Tibet. Over 700 people have died in Nepal alone, with 42 people known to have died in India and 13 in Tibet. At least 17 people were killed from avalanches that resulted on Mount Everest, according to the BBC. Information and Broadcasting Minister Manindra Rigel said to Indian Television, We have launched a massive rescue and rehabilitation action plan and lots needs to be done. Our country is in a moment of crisis and we will require tremendous support and aid, he added. As the aftershocks continued to hit on Saturday, many residents opted to spend the night outside with thousands camping in Nepal's parade ground. Emergency workers have been sent to the affected areas rescuing people trapped under buildings and homes. In certain areas, rescuers used their bare hands to search for survivors in the debris. Global charities and world leaders have begun offering aid to Nepal including China, Pakistan, the United States and the European Union. The United States Embassy in Nepal has pledged an initial $1 million for immediate needs and a search and rescue team has been deployed by the U.S. Agency for International Development. Justine Greening, Secretary of International Development in the UK said, the absolute priority must be to reach people who are trapped and injured, and provide shelter and protection to those who have lost their homes. One of Nepal's historic landmarks, the Dharahara Tower was destroyed with 60 bodies removed from the rubble. The quake also destroyed four out of seven UNESCO World Heritage Sites in the area including the Bhutnath Stupa, one of the Himalaya's oldest Buddhist monuments. The earthquake is the strongest that has occurred in the region in the past 80 years. It comes second to an 8.3 magnitude earthquake that happened on the Bihar-Nepal border in 1934.